Hey everyone, welcome back to another lesson here on the channel. Now, I know this is gonna sound weird, but in today's video, we're gonna be using artificial intelligence to help us find an Amazon FBA product to sell. Let's not waste any time, let's get right into it. So if you haven't heard yet, you're about to hear now, this is ChatGPT by OpenAI. It is a generative predictive text model that does amazing things in the interface anyone can understand, anyone can use. It's simply a chat bar. Now we could easily just say something like, products to sell in the home decor niche. Okay, here we go, just like that. Throw pillows and cushion covers, wall art and frame prints, rugs and carpets, candles and candle holes. Okay, so these are pretty surface level things. Decorative sculptures, decorative bowls and trays. Find more niche ideas that are less competitive. Let's see if it even understands that. Okay, here we go. Yeah, so customized wall decals and stickers, personalized photo frames and albums, handmade pottery. That's actually a good one. If anyone is actually into handmaking stuff, you see what we did there, right? We we got a list of ideas that are actually good, some of them. And then we just said, can you make it a little bit more niche? So it's retroactive. You, you can go back to something it did earlier in the conversation, comment on that, and have it change a part of that. 10 more ideas. You want more ideas? Just tell it to write more ideas. I mean, I, it's so crazy, right? Decorative bookends, custom-made curtains, drapes, hand-painted, hand-drawn wall murals. Um, so what we can actually do is do stop generating and do don't include any handmade items, just like that, and it'll just stop, All right? So it's gonna take your criticism and it's gonna apply it to what it's doing. So, I mean, this thing can go on and on and on. Let's start checking some of these, honestly, because there's so many ideas here. Let's go through them, okay? Let's check that out. So decorative storage bins. Let's go to Amazon, we'll search it up. So we just land here on Amazon. We can see this obviously sells an immense immense amount this one sells 1.4 million a month 23,000 a month 50,000 a month so here's an interesting idea what if we were to ask it for can you write a list of possible differentiations for which number was that uh number nine Sure, here are a few possible different differentiations for decorative boxes, chests, and storage bins. So material, a box and chest can be out of unique materials such as reclaimed wood, bamboo, or wicker. Oh, wicker is a really trendy material. I didn't even think of that. Design. So unique designs such as geometric geometric patterns, intricate carvings, or vintage inspired. Okay, so make it like kind of retro, that would be cool. So size and shape, color and finish. Um, so if you were not to use one of these different well, even if you change the material, you could change the color too. So the hardware, that's a good one. A lot of these have very simple, like either cutout handles or just like fabric handles. So if you were to make really cool hardware on them or a different unique type so functionality, specific use or feature, such as a uh, multi-purpose or stackable. I mean, <laughs> eco-friendly branding, boxes and chests that are part of a unique brand or collection with specific aesthetic. This stuff is just money right here. Right, we could we could do so much with this. It it makes my head spin. So I mean, we could just keep asking it questions about this market all day. Um, how could I sell more than my competitors? Okay, so there are several ways to sell more than your competitors in home decor niche on Amazon. Some strategies include offering unique and hard to find products. That's probably one of the best tips ever. Offer something completely unique that is not just what everyone's selling from Amazon, or from Alibaba, sorry. Um, excellent customer service, that's after you start capturing the sales, but agreed. Um, competitive pricing, yes. Everyone thinks they can make a better product and then charge 10 times more, three times more, whatever. Um, everyone's like, oh, it charges the you know, highest in the market. I don't necessarily think on Amazon that's the game to play. Off Amazon, yes, that can be, you know, you could have a perceived value that's higher, but. I think that's a great tip, uh, creating a store, a strong brand. Yes, yes, chat GPT, that's what we're all about here. Um, optimizing your listing. By the way, I have a video coming soon about optimizing your listing with chat GPT. It's insane. I wrote my whole Amazon listing with this tool. But anyway, I don't wanna bore you guys with the details. This is a really cool tool. Go give it a try, ask it some questions about Amazon. It's gonna blow your mind. I'm gonna leave you with that. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to watch uh, the next video right here, wherever it is, and subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks so much. Later.